Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well, and welcome back to Kit Corner. Now, one of the things that I sometimes see new YouTubers um, doing, or one of the mistakes that I see new YouTubers doing, is not paying enough attention to the sound quality on their videos. They may spend a lot of money on fancy cameras and lighting, uh, but the videos themselves are let down by the sound quality. So I think it's well worth spending a bit of um, time and energy focusing on what microphones you're using, because the ones built in the cameras just aren't normally up to snuff. So in this video, I'm going to uh, talk you through the various microphones I use uh, and in what situations. So, you know, sometimes I do videos here in the garage, sometimes I do them out and about, sometimes I'm even doing them on the motorcycle and vlogging, and I'm using different microphones for each of those different applications. So stick around, stay tuned, I'll tell you what mics I use, uh, how much they cost and where you can get them. Okay, so the first microphone that I wanted to show you is this puppy. This here is a Rode VideoMic Pro, and uh, it's uh, one of my most expensive microphones. It's about £130, something like that. And then I've got a few little extras that I'll talk you through as well in a minute. So basically what this is, is a powered microphone. It's got a, um, a battery that's installed within the mic, and you have to remember to turn it on and off. But this is the mic that I use um, if I'm out and about. I use this one on the, the video that I made with Austin Vince when there were three of us talking, uh, sitting around, because I didn't want to have... Um, us having lapel mics on and, and leads and stuff. I haven't got enough radio mics to go around three people. So I mounted this on a tripod nearby to us, turned the attenuation level down so it was nice and sensitive. Uh, and with this dead cat, that's what this muffler thing is called to stop any wind noise, uh, I managed to record the three of us quite well. Um, what I like about these, they sit in a little cradle. I don't know if you can see that wobbling around. And that sort of isolates the, the microphone from any, anything that it's um, actually fixed to. So there's no sort of handling noise if you're actually holding it. The other thing is, you can do things like this. I've mounted this onto this uh, selfie stick. So effectively, it transforms it into a boom microphone if I need to. I can actually hold it above somebody like that and use it like a boom mic. Uh, and also, if I'm doing that, then obviously, I also then need an extension lead. I've got uh, a long 20-foot extension lead that I bought. Don't skimp on those. Don't get a really cheap one. You can get them for a few quid or you can get them for a bit more money. But uh, get a semi-decent one because if you've got a long run of wire, you can lose sound quality. So that's, that's the mic that I use, as I say, if I'm doing a sort of a group shot or out and about or if I need to be uh, particularly careful of wind noise because the muffler works a treat. So... Um, really recommend those. I use a Nikon DSLR, which doesn't have power in the camera, so that's why I had to go for the Rode um, Mic Pro, uh, the Video Mic Pro, sorry. You can get uh, another microphone that's very similar called the Rode, I think it's called the Go, the Go Video Mic Go, that's what it's called, uh, which is about 50 quid, so less than half that price. Uh, but that relies on it being powered from um, power actually from your camera itself, and it's not compatible with all cameras, so you need to check that if you're going to go down the Video Mic go um, <laughs> route. So anyway, so if you've got a Nikon, you're going to need the more expensive VideoMic Pro. I'll stick links down below that uh, give you uh, not only the mic, but the dead cat, the selfie stick that I'm using, and the extension lead that I'm using. Uh, and the other thing that I've got here is a little um, hot shoe adapter, which means you can put the uh, VideoMic Pro on something like a selfie stick, or indeed on a, on a tripod, which I often do as well. Without that, unfortunately, it won't fit in a standard uh, tripod fitting, because um, Rode have cunningly made the thread a slightly different size. So there we go, that's number one. Uh, that's uh, one of my favourite mics, um, works really well and uh, yeah, thoroughly recommended but quite an expensive microphone. Okay, so the next mic I want to show you is this. This is just an unpowered lavalier microphone. This is the cheapest microphone that I've got and this is the one that I use uh, when I'm vlogging with the crash helmet on. So this mic cost me about £8, again I'll stick a link below, so very, very cheap, it's unpowered, it's just very simply a microphone, short lead and, and a socket. And what I've done here, as you can see, I've done a little bit of adaption, a uh, bit of an elastic band around there so you can stuff that in your helmet. Um, then what I've done, because these are quite fragile, I've got through a number of these, but at £8 a throw it doesn't really matter, um, I, what I've done is wound a load of tape around the base of it because they tend to fatigue at the base of the microphone and that's where they break. So, uh, so I've put a load of cell tape around there, it also holds on the little bit of sponge on the top, acts as a wind deflector and it's starting to look a bit uh, mothy and I've been using this one for a long time. So as I say, £8 from Amazon, absolute bargain. If you want to use them with a more modern day GoPro, like uh, the GoPros I'm using, then you need to buy an adapter uh, to plug in here. Now the adapters, if you get the GoPro ones, they're quite expensive. This, the adapters look like this. Now they're about 30 quid, the GoPro one, but you can get cheaper ones. Again, I'll stick some links below. Um, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but again, it's up to you if you want to take the risk to see if it works. I've, I've got them that seem to work fine, um, but this, is, this particular one's a GoPro one, but they all look much the same. So you just plug that in, plug it into your GoPro, and bingo, you're off. So that's the mic that I use in the helmet. Uh, I'm gonna make a separate video, actually, just about how I go about mounting this in the helmet and use it. So I won't say any more about that at the moment, but uh, st uh, just stay tuned and I'll, I'll tell you more about how I mount it in the helmet in a future video. Right, next up in my roundup of the microphones I use is another one of these, another Lavalier. Lavalier, Lavalier, whatever the heck the French word is, but you know what I'm saying. It's uh, this one. Comes the box, looks like this. 
Made by Boyer, it's a BYM1. Costs about 15 quid on Amazon, absolute bargain. This is one of my favorite go-to microphones because it never lets me down. Now this is very much like the one that uh, I showed you just now that I use in the helmet, uh, but actually this one's got built-in power and a much longer lead. So this is one that I've used a lot in the past when I've been doing stuff here in the garage. Uh, and uh, basically it's my backup microphone. If my radio mic batteries fail, I haven't got any spare batteries, then I resort to this one. It always works, it's just fantastic. And at 15 quid, you've got absolutely nothing to lose. So again, I'll stick a link below as to where you can get it. But that's uh, a great mic just to start out. If you want to try a mic out, you know, on an off-board, off-cam mic for the first time, then recommend you go with one of these powered Lavalier mics. Uh, I think you're going to be impressed with them. Okay, next up in my uh, roundup of the mics that I use then, on a very similar vein to the last mic is this one. It's made by Movo, it's called an LV20. And once again, it's a powered Lavalier, Lavalier mic. <laughs> um, very, very similar as I say to the last one. This one was about 25 quid, and the reason why this is more expensive is because actually it's got two mics. Uh, so that gives you a clue as to what I use it for. I use this if I'm doing interviews with people. So I use this when I did the video, which you may have seen about motorbike security. There were two of us in the shed talking. We each had one of these on. Uh, I used it when I did the museum uh, videos as well. When I went around the museum with my friend Jeff, uh, we each had one of these on. And they're just, again, they're very simple. Uh, they never let you down. Uh, they do a good job of sound quality. And again, very cheap. 25 quid for two mics is an absolute winner, isn't it? Uh, and, and again, comes with its supply with the battery and, and power in the box. So there we go. That's the Movo LV20. Links below once again. Right, so you could say that I've saved the best till last, certainly if you're a gadget fan like myself. Now, this final microphone that I want to show you is this. It's a Boya radio mic. As you've noticed, I'm a big fan of Boya microphones. And this is the mic that I use whenever I'm in the garage. In fact, up until now, this is the mic I've been using on this video. I've now had to go back to the wired Lavalier mic that I showed you before. Uh, so at least you can hear what that one sounds like. But anyway, the radio mic from Boya, these uh, are, again, quite expensive. £130 will get you one of these, but I think you'll find it's the cheapest Lavalier radio mic that, uh, you, that you can get. And it comes with sort of two main parts. So there's a bit that goes on your camera, which is the uh, receiver. You plug that into your camera there, and it comes with a little hot shoe mount, so you can mount it on the top of your camera if you want to. Uh, and then obviously it's got batteries, you turn that on. Uh, and then this is the bit that you put the back, this pack here behind you, so it's out of view. Tuck the wire up, stick the mic on the on your top of your shirt or wherever and switch that one on and then you then you can wander about freely as you wish not tethered to the camera uh, and you've got a radio mic it's absolutely fantastic now the, there are some downsides to these one is the cost of purchase in the first place and also they each take batteries and they also each kind of eat batteries the range is quite a long way on these it's uh, you know several hundred meters I, i'm only ever sort of you know a few meters from the camera but uh, you could wander around and, and get great um, you know reception from these from a long distance so uh, but anyway they do eat batteries that's my point is they they generate quite a lot of transmitter receiver power and hence eat batteries and you've got to remember to turn them on. Uh, the other thing with them is that there's an additional line in um, socket so you can put other sources into your mix if you want to and then on the um, receiver section that goes on the camera there's a headphone socket so you can actually if you've got a separate camera operator if you're lucky enough to be a more than a one-man show like me um, you can stick a set of headphones in there and you can actually listen to the sound that you're recording as you go so you don't have any surprises uh, at the end of it. It's multi-channel as well I can't remember how many channels on here but uh, if you've got any influence on a particular channel you can change channel and you can always find a channel that's nice and clear so I really love these it's uh, as I say the cheapest wireless microphone I could find of this type again I'll stick links below I've used it a lot I absolutely love it thoroughly recommend it comes in a nice little box as well to keep everything nice and uh, tidy uh, with some instructions and there's all sorts of adapters in here and additional uh, microphone sponges and things and it even comes with an XLR adapter as well if you're a pro you can plug in professional quality mics that use XLR adapters rather than the three and a half mil jack plugs okay so that's uh, that's the final mic that I want to talk you through today. Okay, so there we have it. Those are the microphones that I use. This is, by the way, in no way an advert. Um, these are all mics that over the last uh, six months uh, to a year, since I've been focusing more on these videos that I've bought myself and have used, uh, and, I've, and I've just found them to be very good. I'm certainly not an expert, but uh, I do think focusing on the sound quality on your videos definitely improves them. I hope you'd agree. Okay, so uh, I hope that's been of some interest to you. Once again, if you're interested in mics at all, or any of the mics that I've used, I'll put links below to all the bits and pieces I've been talking about, so feel free to check them out there. Okay, look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Missing them fly, cheerio.